Welcome, my friends of the interwebs. I'm sorry. Welcome, my political friends of the interwebs. That's right, because we're gonna get, we're gonna get political today. <laughs> First, I want to say this. I hope everybody had a wondrous Thanksgiving. I know I did. Um, and you ate lots of turkey and pumpkin pie and all the good stuff, the stuffing and the mashed potatoes and gravy and all the good stuff. I right now am on quite a sugar high because <laughs> I'm diabetic. Actually, I didn't. I didn't do. I didn't really do bad. The only things, the only things that I had today that was probably what I should not have had was uh, uh, the stuffing, obviously, the gravy, and um, uh, I, I had a piece of pumpkin pie with, you know, the the whip shit, <laughs> whipped cream on top of it. Um, should not have done that, but I did. I, I have, um, I've, I've. I'm not even going to talk about it, other than my sugar is really high right now. <laughs> it is what it is. Feel free to give me shit in the comment section. Yeah, I'm going to have a very short life. It is what it is. Um, listen, I want, oh, before I even start this, I want to give a big shout out to Admiral Tony Morano. I am part of his fleet. And um, if you do not know who the Admiral is, you need to. I'm going to have a link below. Uh, his YouTube channel is Propaganda Buster, and he is a, an amazing man. I, I've, uh, if you've followed me for any length of time, you know I consider him to be a very good friend of mine. Uh, he's, uh, his story is very interesting, very unique. He's just a unique and interesting person. And he likes to fight the Enviro Nuts, which, let's be honest, I'm down with that. So anyway, he made me part of his fleet, a Kentucky colonel to a, uh, to a Texas admiral. And um, I'm very proud to, uh, to to call him Admiral. So anyway, having said all that, let's get to the meat of it all because I do have something to talk about. This is a slow news day. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> you know, of course, I'm gonna post this. Right now, it is 12:31 um, a.m. So technically, it's no longer Thanksgiving. Uh, but uh, but anyway, I want to talk about China. I want to talk about China. China's in the news. China's actually in the news for a few things today. Uh, one of which is they've, they've, they've declared a, a certain airspace over some islands to be their airspace. It's kind of a no-fly zone now, and you're supposed to have permission to come and go from it. Well, I guess it's not really a no-fly zone, but you're supposed to have their, their permission to come and go from the airspace, as if it was their sovereign territory, which they're claiming it to be. And uh, what I find interesting about that is, you know, <laughs> Japan and South Korea are both claiming all, all All three countries are claiming it. But here's the reality of it. China is uh, the big dog now, bottom line. And um, history has proven that whoever has the manufacturing base calls the shots. Was us at one time, it was Great Britain at one time, and now it's China. Um, and we can buy, we can cry, bitch, moan, whine, whatever we want to do. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that China calls the shots. That's just it. And it will test that airspace because that's what we do. But bottom line, they're calling the shots. They've moved their military and they are building one hell of a military. The Chinese are the com the communist China the the Chi was it Chi Coms the Chi Coms. Um, I know that there are lots of people in the gun and gear community who love China. They don't see any reason whatsoever why we shouldn't be trading with them. They they absolutely people like me who who hate the the, the not the Chinese people. I love the Chinese people. The Chinese people are no different than people anywhere. Um, but people like me who hate the Chinese government, there's lots of people in the gun and gear community that just, they hate that about us. They hate that about us. Because they, they don't want to be made to feel bad about buying that cheap Chinese, you know, I don't know, frost cutlery knife. Uh, you know, made in, you know, some, some sweatshop in Beijing. They don't want to, make, they don't want to be made uh, to feel bad about that. And so, to them, it's all about, you know, libertarianism and free trade and all this nonsense. And in where I where I draw the line is if, if you're going to trade with the devil, if you're going to trade with Lucifer, it won't be free for long. <laughs> it won't be free trade for long. Um, you know, here's the thing. You know, it, it, really, this is what I want to talk about. I, you've all heard me go on and on about their their slave labor and their organ harvesting, human organ harvesting, and all the stuff that that, that China does. Uh, but in the news lately, they've got this thing. They they call it. This is what kind of, to me, it's fascinating. They call it the Great Firewall, which is a cute little take on the Great Wall of China. And what they're doing, what the government is doing, in their words, is um, cleaning up the rumors off the internet. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're making the internet civil. It's kind of like what Google Plus is trying to do to YouTube. So says they. <laughs> they're just trying to clean up the comments. 
So anyway, what this great this great firewall does? So it's apparently a very sophisticated top. I mean, really cutting edge software package that literally removes undesirable rumors. Okay, because you know there's nothing wrong with uh, you know uh, funding China's you know government because you know. They're just cleaning up the rumors. <laughs> They're just imprisoning people that uh, you know that say things. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing. Nothing wrong with buying any you know Chinese products. Here's the thing: Who cares that half the company is owned by the Chinese military? That this shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter to you at all. No, because you can get a knife for you know ten bucks at Walmart. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know, there are reasons why I don't like trading with China. Now, I do know, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a realist, I know there are certain things that you have no choice. None. There are certain things that we have just advocated to China, and it is what it is, and if you want that product or you need that product, you're screwed. You have no choice but to, but to support the Chicoms. And the truth of the matter is, is that more and more things are becoming like that. You know, I, I will talk about fascinating... Um, uh, a fascinating conversation that I had with somebody very high up the chain of a major knife manufacturer when it came to materials and shortages in the United States because this company made uh, all their their knives in the United States and it was becoming very very difficult for them to do that resources wise I don't want to get into that right now I'd like to ask him for, for permission before I tell this this story um, or figure out some way to tell it without revealing who I'm talking about but it was a major knife manufacturer and <clears throat> they were able to find nickel tungsten which was a big 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 or no I'm sorry uh, nickel silver which was a big part of their knife making uh, material list and it just weren't able to find it because China had it all hard to build things in the United States if you can't find the freaking parts to do it so it is what it is but you know that's okay go down to Walmart and get yourself one of those six dollar knives they actually they have a dollar knife. I have one around here somewhere. I'm not sure what I did with it. I'll have to, oh here it is. Oh, one buck. I bought this, well I bought a couple of these actually. They're a dollar a piece at Walmart. Uh, they're made in, they're not made in the United States obviously, but they're, they're made in China. Right, they're made in China and then underneath that it says walmart.com. Yeah, it is a folder. It's got an FRN handle and something that's similar to steel as the blade. <laughs> I don't know that it is steel. It's Chinese steel of some sort. Um, and it's one dollar. Honest to God, I do not know how you manufacture, package, and ship this to the United States and make any kind of profit uh, for a buck. And I'll get to that in another video. But the uh, but the truth of the matter is, is that by the way, I guarantee you this. Real simple. The Chinese government subsidizes this because you can't manufacture, package, and ship this for a dollar and make any kind of profit. Uh, the Chinese government subsidizes this. Now, why would they subsidize this knife? Simple. Simple. To drive out, uh, basically drive out American competition. Because a lot of people, believe it or not, if you're going to buy a knife, you know, why buy, you know, why buy a $40, you know, buck knife and or $30 buck knife and stick it in your tackle box when you can put one of these there? And if it breaks, who gives a shit? It's a buck. Throw, throw it out. Buy another one. Yeah, buy 10 of them. Buy 10 of these for, well, hell. Buy 30 of these for the price of a decent knife. I mean, you know, the Chinese government subsidized that to, to try to put Americans out of work. I know there's a lot of people right now who really feel bad, but psychologically they're twisted about this, and they want to they want to attack me for saying that. They want to attack me for saying that you shouldn't buy Chinese crap. They want to attack me for saying that China uses slave labor. They want to attack me for all those things. And these are people, some of them prominent members of the firearms and gear community knife community you know but I mean it's what it is I do my best not to buy the Chinese crap but you know what are you gonna do and I crap is a, a term that I use loosely because it's not necessarily that I mean and I, t I will tell you honestly I did a torture test on one of these things I will be honest with you this is crap okay this is crap but there are some frost cutlery knives that are made in China on and I keep saying frost cutlery there's a lot of manufacturers that manufacture knives in China I'm not trying to pick on Jim Frost um, I think it's Jim Frost whoever the only frost cutlery knife I ever had was made in China. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm saying. Actually, not a bad knife, though, truthfully. Um, but anyway, I guess my point is, is that you, you, you've got a country that literally abuses its people, abuses its freedom, tries to subvert the United States manufacturing base, what little we have left, um, by doing things like subsidizing shit like this, you know. 
in making our knife manufacturers um, compete. Buying up the resources, the raw materials uh, in the United States, buying that and shipping it to China, and therefore our, our manufacturers can't get their hands on it. You know, our government's doing nothing about it because China owns them. I owned the previous administration too, by the way, and the administration before that. So this isn't even just a rant about Obama. This is just the facts as I see it. So anyway, so China has to, to get back to to get back to the Great Firewall. Um, in China, literally, if you are if you are a political dissident, if you do not believe in if well, first if you're saying the things that I'm saying right now, the Great Firewall will find you and delete your comments. Or well, and I'm sure. You know, there's probably a lot more to it. I mean, I guarantee you this program just doesn't say, well, I don't like what it says, and we're just going to delete it, clean up the rumors. Um, no, I guarantee you it also, it also tracks people, and there are people who disappear and all that stuff and, and become political prisoners and go to re-education camps and all that stuff. But, but, you know, and that's kind of my point. This is what goes on in China. You know, it's in the news today. This isn't stuff that I make up. This, I'm not making this stuff up. This is what's going on today. As we speak, as we speak, there's somebody in China that wants to speak out against its government and uh, the human rights violations, abuses, and their their voice is being crushed, and then worse. So, the next time you buy that Chinese knife, when there's an alternative, and the next time that you buy that Chinese flashlight or that Chinese whatever, I want you to think about that. That there are people that are trying to speak out about human rights violations and their government, the Chinese government, is um, squashing them like a bug. Now, why is that really important in the end, ultimately? But, you know, why should I give a shit about the Chinese people? Screw it, I can get a knife for 10 bucks? Well, because they're going to be exporting more than just their $10 knives. They're going to be exporting their political philosophies at some point. And they, in a lot of ways, they really are. You know, and listen, I'm not an idiot. I understand why your 13, 14, 15 year old is attracted to a $10 Chinese made knife. I get it. I get it. When you're that young, money's tight, you know, maybe you're mowing lawns or maybe you're shoveling snow or whatever. The idea of having a, a, a cool $10 Chinese knife is really awesome. As opposed to maybe saving your money a little bit longer and getting maybe a nice case knife and, and not just to brag on case but you know a, it's a spider co made in colorado or hell and i listen and I, this isn't just about made in america either although that's important um a spider co made in japan seki city they don't use slave labor there you know so i mean ultimately if if, if you continue to support uh these chinese governments or the government of China, if you continue to support the, the government of China, uh, at some point, uh, you will be a slave yourself. And if not you, your children. It, it will be coming. I'm telling you right now, it will be coming. And at some point, you're not even going to be able to get on your computer keyboard and call me a fucking asshole for saying this stuff. <laughs> because the Great Firewall will be over here too. <laughs> of course, I got my own damn great firewalls called block and delete, but whatever. All right, well, listen, guys, that's all I got for you. Hopefully, like I said, everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And uh, I don't know if this is too sh sugar riddled to make any sense to anybody. I I'm just going to put it up. I don't give a shit. Everybody take care. See ya! Apparently, that didn't work. Um, I'm out of practice. See ya!